Now, we've been speaking a fair bit about cancel culture on this program. The left did its best, of course, to cancel Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling after she stood up for the rights of biological women, of women. She said, among other things, that transgender women who haven't had surgery to remove their male genitals don't belong in female jails. Pretty reasonable stuff. Here's J.K. Rowling speaking about some of the abuse she's received as a consequence. I have had people coming to my house where my kids live and I've had my address posted online. I've had uh, what the police anyway would regard as credible threats, yeah. Yeah, and foul sexist abuse just for standing up for the rights of women. Now, Sal Grover is someone who knows this all too well. She's the founder of a female-only social network, Giggle, and she, she joins me now from the Gold Coast. Thanks for joining us, Sal. Good to talk to you again. Um, you must be used to this and have a lot of sympathy for the bravery of J.K. Rowling, but also a lot of absolute disgust for the amount of abuse and highly sexualized and violent abuse that seems to be directed at any women. Catherine Deves is another one who stands up against this sort of trans activist push. <laughs> yeah, I know it all too well. Um, and to explain it, you would think that, you know, maybe sort of misogyny, and that's kind of the short answer for it, but it's not really sort of good enough or explains it all. What a lot of people need to understand is that men who claim to be women need that to be validated so that they can exist in the world with this identity. And if you say they're not, you are destroying the illusion. And J.K. Rowling destroyed the illusion on a global scale. So she's basically sort of the canary in the coal mine, in a sense, to scare other women off from speaking about this issue because, you know, women know that if they speak out about it as well, they're going to get sent death threats, rape threats, um, be taken to court, all of the above. Well, that's the trouble. It completely shapes the debate because people who want to speak up on behalf of women and girls and, and talk common sense, they go silent because they don't want that abuse. That's what it's designed to do. And, and nobody wants to undermine the, the, the self-identity of transgender women or trans people. But usually what's motiv motivating this is people being worried about their safety, the safety of girls in change rooms, the, the fairness of girls and women competing in sport, even the safety of women in women women's prisons. Yeah, I mean, exactly. But I, people need to remember what they know. I mean, men aren't women. No human being has ever changed sex. No one is born in the wrong body. Five years ago, these were completely non-controversial statements to be made. So, you know, if everybody actually just started speaking up about this and saying those things, it would go away relatively quickly. Everyone can't be fired. Um, everyone can't be sent death and rape threats. You know, the more people that speak up will highlight the absurdity um, of, you know, what we're dealing with. And probably yeah. maybe for it to make sense, more people should maybe Google and research and learn what autogynophilia is because it will, it will make it all click. Well, I'll have to Google that myself, but I tell you, what, what we get is the opposite, of course. We get a lot of media uh, focusing on these issues and trying to identify with the causes if it's a fashionable cause, which just, you know, again, it stifles people who just want to talk a bit of common sense about these issues.